I think it's been the best. Like, I think it's been the best I've played in so long. So I want to say it's probably my, I think I'm playing my best leg like, squash in a while. So I'm pretty happy about it. I feel like, I feel like I've just been like enjoying like the game more in general and I've been like more excited just to be on court and like be able to compete and I think that's when I give it my best and then it's like I think it's always like better when I'm enjoying it than when I have like so much pressure and like so many other things to think about um so I think that's like one of the biggest reasons yeah I think I think for me like I want to say like I think my biggest strength is like my like length in general and just like striking the ball so I feel like once I have that and once I I feel like confident in my length and then I feel like I'm like playing my best and I'm really doing well and definitely like movement because it kind of like I, I don't want to say I'm not definitely not the fastest player but when, I feel like when I'm moving well and I feel like I'm getting like like the ball back a lot I feel like I definitely feel more confident mm. so I just graduated last May from college from, um which college from, from uh, I was at Harvard okay yeah so I wasn't like I wasn't playing that much like just like profession like at tournaments or anything I was kind of more focusing on like college squash and I like I knew I wanted to go pro after for sure but I didn't play that many tournaments so I I wasn't always sure like where I stood compared to like all the other players. Um, so when I played that tournament and I won, like I made like a couple of up upsets and I, I feel like I played really well. I feel like it definitely gave me like, like a confident boost. And then it made me like more excited to like turn pro and then just like start the new season. It's very, I, I, I would want to say it's very competitive. Like, I played like Farida Muhammad, she's like world number 50. And I played Siva, she's like 13 or something. And they've all been, they, they were all like really close matches and really good matches. And it's just like the, like the whole season in general, we played like a lot of matches. And I feel like college squash is just becoming like more and more competitive now, which is like a really good transition from like a junior player to like college squash and then like professional. I I've always wanted to and I was always planning on going pro after I just I didn't play that much throughout college I like I played like every now and then but I I just I don't know I feel like I wanted to like focus more on like college squash and just like in like enjoying my time in college mm -hmm. uh but definitely like playing them during the season and then seeing how like Victor was doing and Sabrina and Gina and like Amanda and all these top players and how they came from their college squash and then they went into tour and they did really well. I feel like it definitely gave me like a motivation and it made me believe that like if they could do it, I feel like I could definitely do it as well. I mean, I was like, I was going hoping that I would win at least like one because I was playing like four consecutive tournaments. So I was going hoping that I would at least like win one like that was my goal but I was also just trying not to put like too much pressure on myself and I was just I feel like I was just more excited to be able to like compete and just go like fully pro again after college I was just really excited to be playing so I was trying not to put like too much pressure on myself and I was just trying to think like like one time like one match at a time and just like not think ahead um and it and it worked so I'm happy about it yeah I think I think that's definitely really difficult because I feel like one of like my biggest weaknesses like before was that I kind of like I feel like I used to like crack under pressure a lot and I wouldn't perform that well so I feel like I've been working a lot on it and just like on my like the mental side of the game a lot and I feel like it's kind of slowly trying to like pay off and show in my game I feel like the the biggest change was during like my time at Harvard because I was, I was be, like I was with Mike Way was the head coach at the time, and he's working with like Ali and like Victor and Gina and all that. And I feel like he's really good with the mental side, and I feel like he really really helped me through that and just like, just like, 
I don't know. Like, I mean, like, it's hard not to think ahead for sure, but I was just trying to like focus on like one match at a time. Yeah, yeah. I feel like he definitely gives me like perspective and like on like life in general. And then like, I don't know. He just like, I feel like he helps like put you in like a good mindset of like, like if you lose the match, it's not like the end of the world. Like, yes, it's not good. Yes, it's not the result that you want, but it's not like, you're not gonna die like it's fine like you can just like see what you did wrong and improve and like move on and I feel like that really just kind of like relaxed my head a bit and like just I don't know it made me like focus more on my squash and less on like the end result yeah I think I think it was definitely a tough one and especially in the final because I've played like Georgia two times already before and they were all like pretty close and she she's like a really really tough player so I was kind of like going into the final I was like okay like hopefully I can like win again uh but I feel like by the end because I was like by that time I was like away for like almost a month and a half so I was kind of just trying to like push through like the last couple of matches and then just like go home even for a day but <laughs> Yeah, I feel like I feel like because I'm kind of used to just being away for a while that it wasn't that bad. Like it was fine. Um, I think just like training wise, it could be like challenging at times because then you have this like chunk of like ten days in between like tournaments or something. And I have like a really good base in Egypt, so it's kind of like tough just like trying to find like people to train with wherever you are, mm -hmm. but. Um, but I think it was fine and I think it was worth it. So since I moved back here, it's been like, so I, I, I trained my coaches like Omar Abdelaziz and I've been with him for, I don't know, like six or seven years. Um, and since I moved back, I feel like we've been like working really, really hard just to like, I don't know, to like achieve like whatever we want. And I feel like, it's been it's been like working great and I'm really happy about it so yeah it's hard to say that I don't think about like ranking at all but I feel like especially in the beginning because I was like 70 something so it's kind of just like harder to get into tournaments so I feel like my goal was to try to make it into the top 50 by the end of the season so I can get into the, the platinum events mm -hmm. um and I'm happy like I was able to achieve that but I feel like it, it always feels better when you have like a big win and or, or if you're playing really well than like just having your ranking jump up a little bit, at least for me. But but yeah. Yeah, I feel like well for sure you're just like surrounded with like all like the best players in the world. So I feel like it's kind of like different. Like I don't know, you just like see how they like go on their days or how like they prepare for their matches or I don't know and just having like it's like so many people and it's just like more folk I feel like it's always like more focused on like platinum, platinum events um so it's kind of like a completely different atmosphere mm -hmm. uh I feel like I still want to have like a mix of both so I obviously want to play like all the big events, but I also still want to play like a couple of like the small events because I don't know. I feel like playing big events is like great and it's like really exciting, but also playing like smaller events and knowing that you have a chance to like win the tournament, it kind of also gives you like a confidence boost. I feel like I'm hoping I end up being like in the top 30 maybe top 20 if I'm doing really well but I feel like I also want to at least beat like a couple of like the top like the top players because I feel like that's just going to make me feel like I'm moving into like the right direction um so I think that that's like the two main things <laughs>